Flossie's doing an amazing job of being a mummy again. But we've got five boys and two girls. This is a little mini Flossie. Can you see? And this is a chocolate and tan. This is a chocolate and tan. I've got a goldie here. Another chocolate and tan. I've got another gold. And then another chocolate and tan. Well done, Floss. Flossie's just popped out for a wee and we've changed all the colours and now they all have little nicknames which I'll tell you at some point. They're all just having a good old nap right now. She's been such a good mummy. Well done, Missy. She's so tired. She's slowly starting to catch up on her sleep today. And we just put a fresh vet bed in because it's already been washed once. She's losing a bit of blood. Um, because obviously she's still contracting um, so that's completely normal but it's just causing a little bit of discomfort but look at those beautiful puppies they're absolutely perfect look at this uh, little mini floss then we've got the chocolates and the golds well done Lessie good morning we've got one day old puppies some of them are a little noisy this morning Mr Thomas O'Malley I haven't told you the names yet. So, this little fella around here is Uncle Waldo. They're all named after Disney characters. Um, oh, Flim Rider is here. And he makes a lot of noise, don't you, monkey? This is Thomas O'Malley. Um, this is Mrs. Potts. This is Mr. Pricklepants from Toy Story. This is Dottie McStuffins. And this one is Gus Gus. I think that's everyone. Um, yeah. They're so sweet. Good girl, let's see. She had a very good night. Pretty much didn't do anything. Uh, we did a shift each mum, Hannah and I, because we were all tired from the labour the night before. Um, but she did amazing, didn't really need us anyway. You always want your mummy. We love your mummy, huh? Little boy. There we go, I found him a teat. So, Flynn Rider, Mrs. Potts, Thomas O'Malley, Uncle Waldo, Mr. Pricklepants, Dottie McStuffins, and Gus Gus. Look at Gus Gus's little tan bottom. And Dottie's got a little tan bottom. And Flynn and Uncle Waldo. All got tan bums, hey? We all got tan bottoms like you. Does that come from Mummy and Daddy? Yeah, oh, he's put on already. Three, five, one. Hello, Mrs. Potts. You're lovely. She's not bothered about that one. Two, eight, one. I can't rechecked really that any were boys that I said were boys or any that I said were no, boys. No, I have not Two. either. No, I have not rechecked. Really hey, Gus Gus. Three, twenty-five. Hey, Uncle Waldo. Two, eight, seven. 320 318 actually yep Flynn 301 285 so I'm just writing up all their weights in my notes uh, that's um, Flynn Rider um, so what I do is I write the birth weight at the top of the page and then every day we weigh them, we try and weigh them a similar time, probably early morning tomorrow so we don't worry too much if the weight's slightly different depending on the time. I put what weight they were today and how much they gained uh, since the previous day um, and it just helps us to know who is smaller and bigger and then on here we have a little post-it note which gets changed every day and we put the three or four smallest ones on here so it Today, the two girls are smallest, which is completely how it should be, really. Um, but what we'll do is make sure these four end up on the bigger teats so they get more milk, so that they all end up average the same weight at the end. Um, it does tend to be the boys are bigger, um, which is probably why Mrs. Potts and Dottie are on the smallest list. Um, but they've all gained weight. If they'd lost weight, um, they'd be a massive priority. But they've all gained weight today, so it's not really much of a concern. They clearly are all feeding. Um, this boy, Thomas O'Malley, is obviously still the biggest because he is 
um, just always feeding, um, which is fine. Do some wheeze from the bubbles. Still only 24 hours old. Look at Gus. Hello, princess. Do you need a wee, my love? Thomas O'Malley wants his mummy, doesn't he? Look how strong they are already for only one day old. And my ears are all closed off. Little dotty McStuffins. Look at that face. Oh, she's got hiccups. Oh dear, dotty. And he said two of the boys, my tan legs, you can see the difference between the chocolate and tan and the black and tan. The black, black's like a silky black, um, just like floss, um, and the chocolate's definitely a chocolate. She's got one under her chin as well, she's just keeping them warm at the moment. Right. with collars so to avoid any accidents we took some collars off so this is Gus Gus that was yellow collar this is Uncle Waldo that was green doesn't need one because he's only black and tan this is Dottie McStuffins we've had to keep it on her because we have got two girls um, they look the same and this is Mrs Potts you can't actually tell the difference but it's when in the night or if you're looking from above you want to be able to sell them up straight away and we can't if they've got a collar on so yet anyway obviously when they're a bit bigger look at little legs um, and then here we've got Mr. Prickle Pants and Flynn Rider and Thomas O'Malley. So Mr. Prickle Pants has a slightly darker head, so he's really obvious to tell um, the, between the two gold. And then Flynn is the other boy, um, and again he's got one on because from above, can't tell the difference between him and Gus Gus. Look at that hair you've got going on, I see. I don't think I made it any better. But look at the little faces. She's got her mouth open. He's got his ears up. This one's snoozing with his brother's paw on him. Thomas O'Malley is climbing over Flim Rider. And Mr. Bricklebant is climbing over Mrs. Pons. Look at his little face. But I love the mornings because they're all sleepy and cute. Little beauties. Look at his eyebrows. Now he's getting chunky. Hello, missus. Got five day old cherubs today. And this little chunk closest to the camera is Goldie. He's already 400 grams. How crazy is that? Um, yeah, they're all growing. They've, none of them have lost weight. Look at them how fast they are now. I don't know if you can see because Foss is just covered, but Thomas! Literally they run ac across the box so fast. He's walking right now. Good morning from one week old Flip Flops and Flip Flop herself. Hello baby girl. They're all like piled on top of each other. And they're all getting so big. This is Gus Gus here. He's massive. And then Mrs. Potts is squished under here and Flynn. Dusty's on the top. Uncle Waldo has gone so glossy and velvet. This is Prickle. He's as beautiful as ever. And Thomas O'Malley has no head. It's under there somewhere. Are you proud of your babies? We're changing the vet bed, which gets changed every day. 
thought we'd drag them out on it so they can have a little <laughs> little sleep over here. <laughs> Mummy's outside while we change it. Having a wee. Just wait a minute, class. Mum's just putting the fresh piece in and then they'll go back in the little box. Look at you. Look at the boys. He's trying to walk. Here's niece Tabby meeting Have the babies. Time. Come on, niece Tabs. This is your aunts and uncles. Come here. This is Flynn. Come on, Miss. Come there, Tabs. Come say hi, Flynn. Come on. Good girl. Well done. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Good morning. You okay, Thomas? You want your mama? You find her there. Good boy. You've got a little tiny bark. Good morning. Today we've got, I can't remember what, how old they are today. And Prickle is barking in his sleep. <coughs> so cute. Also, Prickle, Dotty, and Thomas O'Malley have already opened their eyes this morning, which is advanced because they're not two weeks till Wednesday and it's Monday. <laughs> oh, he's so lovely. Look at Mrs. Spot. She's stretching. Oh, good girl. And um, some of them are walking. Oh, he's so cute. Look at these. And then another one over there. Little babies here. These three are all, or four are all snoozing. Afternoon. The puppies are 13 days old today and yesterday uh, they started opening their eyes. They're all asleep at the moment so you can't see their eyes. Um, but let me see if I can hold one up. Just open. There we go. They've got little eyes. Hello princess. Hello. And they're getting so big and they're just being absolute angels they're sleeping a lot uh, which i think is because they're growing um, yeah so all of them have their eyes open they're all asleep at the moment but as you just saw dotty's eyes and look they're starting to walk um on their back feet if you see here she's getting so strong clever girl she's finding her siblings um they're brilliant, they're doing really, really well. All the colours are coming through, like Waldo's tan is really coming through. Uh, Prickle still has his little birthmark on his head, it's like dark splodge I suppose, but everything else is gold. Um, goldy, tan, and the boys have got their ten toes, and the girls, but they're just so cute. Good morning. Hello, Dotty. Thomas. Prickle. Wow. That's some strong walking, missus. <laughs> wow. 
Wow! Can you walk? A white chest. Good girl, Mrs. Potts. Hello. Hello, sleepy. Oh dear. So this morning we started playing with toys. Did you like that, Mrs. Potts? It's a tennis ball. She just kicked it with the nose. The others are all a little bit sleepy. But Mrs. Potts is wide awake. Oh, prickle. Cool. Who do you think it is? Mummy Floss is here. Hello. Oh, they're walking loads. They are trying to escape more than they were. Um, should have filmed when they were a bit more lively, but they all just gone to sleep. Uncle Waldo, Mummy's literal twin, is here. Um, so sweet, but it's like to play with Minnie Mouse this morning. So we're going to put some toys in today. This site never gets old, all the little ginger bottoms having a little feed with Mama. Mrs. Potts is having a good feed. Dottie's having a bum wash. Prickle, Thomas and Flynn, I believe, having a little snuggle. <laughs> They're playing now. They're playing now and they start weeing and pooing now. It's very cute. Look at Brickle. Hello. Have you come out the way? Super strong legs today. Mrs. Potts is throwing herself on top of everybody. On a little wrestle. Thomas is asleep with Gus. Waldo. Hello, Waldo. Excited to play with toys today. We've put a few toys in. Little ones stuck on the bar, and these bars are going to come out today. The other two have already come out, but don't need pig rails anymore. Are we ever starting to play with all these toys? Waldo's got Minnie Mouse. Mrs. Potts has got the giraffe. <laughs> She's running. I'm much stronger on the legs this morning. Oh my goodness, Moo, put you on battery charge overnight. See, my eyes are open. I'm up and about. Hello, Uncle Waldo. What's going on here then? What's going on here? Oh, Waldo. 
Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter then? You alright? I'm right here. You all playing? We've got Mr. Prickle Pants trying to escape. We've got Thomas. <laughs> They're all just learning how to play with each other. We've got the boys and Gus. Would you like to feed from Mama? There you go. Are you two playing? Are you going to find Mummy? You don't want to find Mummy. I think she's that way. Good girl, Mama Floss. Feeding all the babas. She's very good. Making sure everyone's got a gap and there's not much space left anymore. Mrs. Potts has gone for the years. Oh, good girl, I see.